for another episode of 40-something gay here on somelikeitscott.com. This week I want to talk about the fact that if I believed in it, I know I'd be going to hell. Not only do I know I'd be going to hell, I'd be going there on a one-way ticket on an economy airline on the last row of the plane in the center seat between two huge fatties with the seat that won't recline, and they'd put all those pillows and blankets that I know they don't clean well enough on top of me. That's if I was going. But I'm a firm believer that we create our own hell right here on earth, regardless of what the evangelicals, the born-again Christians, and all those people who tell me about how much Jesus loves me, he just does, just wants to change everything about me, doesn't want me to be a Jew, doesn't want me to be a homosexual, doesn't want me to wear my hair this way, whatever, you get the idea. But all I'm going to say is, is that I know for a fact that I would be going to hell. And like I say to all of my friends, I say, I'm going to get there first and decorate in my color so that you have to spend the rest of your life with my color scheme. So recently I was in a store, one of those, you know, kitcheny kind of, uh, you know, French stores where you, you know, everything's white porcelain. Now, I'm not a gay who was blessed with a culinary arts gift. I don't know anything about it, okay? I don't know how to cook. I don't know how to do any of that stuff. But I was there and I was buying a bunch of stuff, you know, like le plate, le table, tabla, whatever. So anyway, of course I needed some assistance at some point, knowing nothing, and so I tapped a gentleman on the shoulder and asked him if he could help me. Now, I knew he was a gay from behind, but when he turned around, I was a little shocked. He was using one of those things that you hold up your throat to talk, but he was so gay that his other hand never stopped for one minute. It had the big ring on it, it was gesturing. I said, I'd like to know, do you have any more of these? And he said, I don't know, let me look in the back, I think we have something like that. Well, I know I shouldn't laugh, and I know I shouldn't make fun, and I know it's why I'm going to hell. But all I could think of was, oh my God. God, that's really one way to get us gays, to take one of our hands away from us. Because if you can't gesture and you're a gay, really, are you a gay after all? So, anyway, I just thought I would share my take on hell, life, and all that other good stuff. But, basically... Sometimes, and all the time, it's not good to make fun of other people, because God knows, as a gay, I've been made fun of my whole life. But then again, when you've got somebody, what are you going to do, right? Thanks for joining me for another episode of 40-something gay here on somelikeitscott.com, and have a swell week.